Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuberist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 9 of Avatar The Last Airbender. In the previous episode, we were able to meet Avatar Roku for a short time, and also for a moment there, he was able to kind of take over Aang's body and show his bending prowess again to Commander Zhao and Zuko and everybody else who was in the Fire Temple at that time. But right now, hopefully, the Aang and the gang will finally be able to journey to the North Pole so that he can learn waterbending because he's got a very tight schedule. He has less than a year to learn all the four elements and master them so that he can beat Fire Lord Ozai, who will be using Sozin's Comet to destroy and capture the world, basically. So yeah, thanks. Thanks, Avatar Roku, <laughs> for giving Aang the impossible task of doing all of that as a 12-year-old boy. And yeah, anyway, uh, this is episode 9, and let's get on with it. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Okay, the title of this one is The Waterbending Scroll. Okay, so they're nearing... They're nearing that moment when Aang will be able to start learning waterbending. But first, we're gonna have to find this waterbending scroll, maybe? If we hit a bump, you'll go flying off. What's fucking you anyway? It's what Avatar Roku said. I'm supposed to master all four elements before that comet arrives. Well, let's see. You pretty much mastered airbending, and that only took you 112 years. <laughs> I'm sure you can master three more elements by next summer. <laughs> I haven't even started waterbending, and we're still weeks away from the North Pole. What am I gonna do? Calm down. It's gonna be okay. If you want, I can try and teach you some of the stuff I know. You do that? We'll need to find a good source of water first. Maybe we can find a puddle for you to splash in. Nice puddle. Nice puddle. <laughs> so, while you guys are playing in the water, I'm supposed to be hard at work picking mud out of a giant bison's feet? Mud and bugs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I assure you, it is a matter of utmost importance, Prince Zuko. Is it something to do with the Avatar? Even more urgent. It seems I... I've lost my lotus tile. Lotus tile? For my Paisho game. Most people think the lotus tile insignificant, but it is essential for the unusual strategy that I employ. You've changed our course for a stupid lotus tile? See, you like most people <laughs> underestimate its value. Just give you 10 minutes to check the merchants at this port of call. Hopefully, they'll have the lotus tile <laughs> So don't be frustrated if you don't get it right away. Just push and pull the water like this. The key is getting the wrist movement right. Like this? That's almost right. If you keep practicing, I'm sure eventually. Hey, I'm learning it already. Wow, I can't believe you got that so quickly. I mean, he is the Avatar, and he's got, like, centuries of experience. I'm lucky enough to have a great teacher. The idea is to create a big, powerful wave. So, like this? Ah, oh, Sokka. Looks like I got the hang of that move. What else you got? That's enough practicing for today. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. You just practiced our supplies down the river. Uh, sorry. I'm sure we can find somewhere to replace all this stuff. My life was hard enough when you were just an airbender. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so will they, by chance, meet again? Cross paths with Zuko? And Iro in this uh, town. I've 
never seen such a fine specimen of lemur. That beast would fetch me a hefty sum if you'd be interested in bartering. Momo's not for sale. Look at this, Ed. It's a water-bending scroll. Check out these crazy moves. Where did you get a water-bending scroll? Let's just say I got it up north at a most reasonable price. Free. Wait a minute. Seen loving traders with suspiciously acquired merchandise and pet reptile birds? You guys are pirates! We prefer to think of ourselves as high-risk traders. So how much for the, uh, traded scroll? I've already got a buyer. A nobleman in the Earth Kingdom. Unless, of course, you kids have 200 gold pieces on you right now. I know how to deal with these guys, Katara. Pirates love to haggle. Watch and learn. Let's I don't think that's gonna work. Price, uh, one copper piece. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the price is 200 gold pieces. I don't haggle on items this rare. Okay. Two copper pieces. It's not as amusing the second time, boy. And can we get out of here? I feel like we're getting weird looks. I we be casting off now. What was that all about, Katara? Yeah, I was just starting to browse through their boomerang collection. I'll just feel a lot better once we get away from here. Hey, you! Get back here! Well, well. Look who's come to their senses. Oh, did she steal it? Uh. The cabbage guy. <laughs> okay, that's a nice running gag. trying to hack us up. You stole their water vending scroll. I prefer to think of it as high risk trading. <laughs> Good one, Katara. Sokka, where do you think they got it? They stole it from a water bender. It doesn't matter. You put all of our lives in danger just so you could learn some stupid fancy splashes. These are real water bending forms. You know how crucial it is for Aang to learn water bending. Well, that's why you have to go to the North Pole. What's done is done. We have it. We might as well learn from it. I've checked all the shops on this pier. Of course. A lotus tile in the entire market. Uh, but they didn't r run into each other. It's a complete waste of time for everyone. Quite the contrary. I always say the only thing better than finding something you are looking for is finding something <laughs> you weren't looking for at a great bargain. <laughs> you bought a sword <laughs> for music night on the ship. Wow. Now, if we only had some woodwinds. Oh, this place looks frozen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that is handsome. <laughs> Why can't I get this stupid move? You'll get it. You just gotta shift your way through the stances. There. See? The key to bending it. Will you please shut your air hole? Believe it or not, your infinite wisdom gets a little old sometimes. Why don't we just throw the scroll away since you're so naturally gifted? Oh, somebody's jealous. What? Oh my gosh, eh? I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. Jealousy. But you know what? It won't happen again. Here, this is yours. I don't want to have anything to do with it anymore. It's okay, Katara. 
What about Momo? He's the real victim here. I'm sorry, Momo. And what about me? There was that time you... No more apologies! Okay, so she's gonna get herself captured by the pirates and Zuko. And then Aang will have to try and save her. What you ask for. <laughs> hey, this is all my fault. No, Katara, it isn't. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> Give me the boy. You give us the scroll. <laughs> You're really gonna hand over the avatar for a stupid piece of parchment? Don't listen to him. He's trying to turn us against each other. <laughs> Your friend is the avatar. Sure is. And I'll bet he'll fetch a lot more on the black market than that fancy scroll. Shut your mouth, you water tribe peasant. Yeah, Saka, you really should shut your mouth. I'm just saying, it's bad business sense. Just imagine how much the Fire Lord would pay for the Avatar. You guys would be set for life. Keep the scroll. We can buy a hundred with the reward we'll get for the kid. You'll regret breaking a deal with me. Hey, are you there? I'm over here. Follow my voice. Where? I can't find you. I'm right here. <laughs> uh, never mind. I'll find you. Run! Katara, you're okay. Help me get this boat back in the water so we can get out of here. <sighs> 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 We need a team of rhinos to budge this ship. A team of rhinos? Or two waterbenders? Everybody in! Are you so busy fighting you cannot see your own ship has set sail? We have no time for your proverbs, uncle. <laughs> no proverb. <laughs> Bleeding hog monkeys! <laughs> <laughs> hey! That's my boat! Maybe it should be a pro. <laughs> Come on, Uncle! <laughs> Have you lost your mind? This is no time for flu practice! We can stop the boat! Hey! Together! Push and pull the water! <laughs> okay. But we have another problem. Oh. You're really going to get a kick out of this. The lotus tile was in my sleeve the whole time! <laughs> hey, I 
still owe you an apology. You were just so good at waterbending without really trying. I got so competitive that I put us all in danger. I'm sorry. I mean, he, that's only There's natural. He is the avatar. Who needs that stupid scroll anyway? Is that really how you feel? The scroll! First, what did you learn? Stealing is wrong. Unless it's from pirates. <laughs> Good one, Katara. Okay, so that was a very fun episode. Uh, Aang got his first foray into waterbending and with Katara as his teacher, but of course, I get the fact that Katara is going to be jealous of Aang for being a natural at the thing. Well, he is the Avatar and he's, and according to Roku, he's had, he's, he was able to master all of the four elements before anyway, because of that long lineage of Avatars from centuries. So it's only natural that he'll be able to tap into that resource within, from within him and just kind of remember everything that he's, he's learned and mastered in his past lives. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess that should explain it. Hopefully Katara is able to understand that as well. They did make up in the end and, you know, the whole thing with the pirates was actually quite funny as well. I loved Iroh's timings with his jokes and his puns and his, you know, quips. So, and, and the whole uh, Lotus style thing. I think that's going to be important later on. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. But anyway, so yeah, it was a fun episode. I'm actually starting to get into the groove and the momentum of the of the show. They're, they've been able to eliminate a lot of the fluff uh, in the story, so not a lot of unnecessary scenes anymore. It's like, it's, it's starting to get on a good roll. So I like it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.